Okay, well, it's time now for perspective. And today, April 24th, is a national day of commemoration here in France this year for the Armenian Genocide of 1915. The first year France has nationally marked that anniversary, a decision announced in February much to the ire of Turkey. While Turkey acknowledges the violence that took place, it still contests the number of people murdered and denies that they were systematically killed. So why did France decide to hold a National Day of Commemorations and what does this mean? Well, we're joined on set to, to give us his perspective by French MP Mr Jacques marie Lucien, who's president, among other things, of the Franco-Armenian Friendship Committee in the French Parliament. Um, you're also the grandchild of Armenian immigrants who came to France. So maybe, Mr marie Lucien, uh, apologies for my pronunciation, but maybe I can start with your personal story of, you know, how your grandparents arrived here in France. Yes, uh, my grandparents arrived around 1990. Uh, they uh, came, of course, from uh, this, uh, Turkish part of uh, what we call uh, Armenia. So it's the, they were coming from Adiaman, which is a, a city in uh, Anatolia. And uh, indeed, they never spoke about what happened. Mm. Uh, I was a child, of course, and uh, probably they didn't want to... Uh, to, to tell me all these horrors. Indeed. Um, what happened? Um, I, I'm always uh, confused when we are talking with uh, Turkish uh, people. Uh, I've been working uh, in, in Turkey many times. Uh, I'm also a member of the uh, France-Turkey uh, Parliamentary Friendship Group. Uh, because I think this is the best way to create a link between the two countries. And um, I officially, I honestly think that uh, who is responsible for what happened? Uh, I don't blame Turkey and the Turkish people. We know that it was the uh, Turkish government, the CUP, uh, we call them uh, Young Turks uh, at, the, at the time, and these uh, Turkish government organized a list of massacres in 1915, uh, mainly for two reasons. They wanted to uh, unite the uh, Ottoman uh, Empire and uh, the, the uh, Armenians were Christians. Mm. So uh, at the time, these ones were Muslim and Turkey was at war against France, uh, UK and, and, and Russia. And Russia was the enemy north of, of Turkey. I can hear it's still such an emotional story. Yes. And I mean, as is very understandable years on. And, and it's nice to hear that today you don't see the Turkish people as responsible. But Turkey is still very reluctant to use this word genocide. You know, I, I imagine that's difficult yeah, as well. Yes, uh, first of all, because the, at, that, at the time these things happened, we call them massacres. And uh, you might not, uh, you might don't know it, but uh, in 1990, after the war has ended, there was a new Turkish government. And the new Turkish government tried all the responsible of the uh, Young Turk government. Uh, there were, uh, as charge, of course, there were the massacres in, uh, against the Armenian population. Mm. And the responsible of these massacres, the Young Turks ministers, were sentenced to death. So even the Turkish government at the time, in 1990, recognized the, uh, the, the guilt of these people against the uh, Armenian massacres. And at that time, the word genocide did not exist. Um, during the World War II, uh, Winston Churchill uh, was uh, informed of what happened in, in Germany uh, in concentration camps. And he mm. said, uh, it's terrible, there is no word to characterize these things. And a few months later, uh, a Polish, uh, a Polish American a lawyer, point. Rafael Lemkind, inspired by what happened in Armenia, uh, find the word genocide. How important for it is you that Turkey adopts that word, recognizes that it was a genocide? Uh, at first, uh, recently, even the Turkish government has said is sorrow and uh, present is uh, apologize for the massacres. Mm. The challenge is that they do not accept the word genocide, uh, uh, telling that there was also uh, a Turkish people uh, who killed. were uh, yeah. killed uh, at that time, which is true, mm. of course, but uh, because many of the Armenians were resisting against the, the attacks and, and, and the massacres. There is a famous... Uh, important though, the word uh, that they adopt the word, is it important today? Uh, be, because uh, as long as I believe, I have discussed that with our French uh, foreign affairs minister, Mr. Mm. Uh, Le Drian, 
Uh, I, I believe that as long as we are asking Turkey to recognize its responsibility, we will not be able to, to help them. Mm -hmm. We should find a way to tell them we are not blaming Turkey for that, we are just blaming the Turkish government of 1915. And if you assume that, if you recognize the fact that it was responsibility of these young Turks, uh, ministers. You simply want to set the record straight, exactly. as far as you see it. Um, now, today, April 24th, of course, the anniversary, and for the first time here in France, uh, yes. a commemoration. What does that mean to you, and how did that decision come about? Oh, uh, there are many reasons. France is the second largest country uh, welcoming uh, Armenians. First, is, of course, is uh, America. Uh, we have more than uh, half a billion, maybe 600,000 people in France who have at least uh, an Armenian grandparent, Heritage. okay, Grand, uh, our grandchild. Um, first of all, then that we had links between France and Armenia historically. Uh, Sometimes uh, in in the past, in the 14th century, you had uh, people from France who became king of Armenia. So that so. explains why France needed to push that up, and it did. However, though, uh, draw ire from Turkey, which once again uh, upset uh, with France giving that Armenian genocide quite so much attention. Unfortunately, it's been fascinating hearing your history and putting it in context for us. But Mr. Jacques Marassian will have to leave it there. That brings us to the end of perspective. But thanks so much for coming into this studio. Uh, for us on this very difficult anniversary for you. Thank you.